Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use FaceGood to drive your MetaHuman's facial animation live using LiveDrive in Unreal Engine 5. Let's go ahead and do this live. <laughs> All right, so we have here, this is an empty project with a single meta human in here. I already imported it so we can kind of skip all the compiling shaders or whatnot. And the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna to go to the folder, which I'm going to provide you all the link to, you can download. Now this works right now, it's 21 December, 2022. So um, for now, this is how this is going to be set up. So I'm gonna to go to my folder right here and I have this folder called how to connect UE5. There is a plugins folder here that I unzipped using whatever software you have. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this into my project folder. So I'm gonna to go to my project now called MeshLite and I'm just gonna go paste this in here. Once that's done, I'm gonna close Unreal Engine 5 and then open it back up. Okay, so now that we have the project open back up, let's go ahead and drag and drop our MetaHuman in there. So I'm gonna to go to Emma right here, drag her in the middle. And then what I'll do is I'll just click on the reset button here. So she's going to go, you know, in the middle of the scene. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is go to the face blueprint. So with that being said, I'm going to click on the face right here and I'm going to click this glass eyeglass button right here. And I'm going to double click the face and BP. And then in here, I'm going to go open that folder back up. And in here, you're going to see this thing called anim graph three. So I'll double click this control a control C to copy all the contents of it. Make sure you don't type anything in here. I'm going to minimize this, minimize this. And then in the face anim BP, we're going to go to the anim graph right here. I'm going to go to this empty space right here and control V as in victory. And that's going to paste all this goodies right here. And then from here, all we have to do is take the output of this right here. So I'll go all the way to the right. And I'm just going to go drag this person to the result like so compile and then save and that's all we're doing in here all right so we're done in the face and in bp we're going to go back to the folder now and in here i'm going to open up event graph three so i'm going to double click this i'm going to control a control c minimize minimize and then what i'll do is i'm going to now to the event graph of this so i'm going to click on event graph and similarly i'm going to click on the empty space control v and that is good to go right there. And then the event graph, what we're going to do is we're going to take the event begin play. We're going to plug it in the first one. We're going to take the second one and we're going to plug it to the second one just like so. I'm going to go ahead and compile and save. And that is pretty much it. All right. So with that being said, let's open up Avatar Enterprise. Now what I'm using right now is the Avatar Enterprise, which has the Seattle AI meta human, which has that crazy, amazing live facial animation. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up right now. And we're going to go to live drive and we're going to say to D. And I have the helmet right now, the D2 helmet that is $469. Insane. Comes with a helmet and camera. Have it right here. It's already plugged in via a USB cable. All right. So I have my helmet on now and I have the Avatari Enterprise opened up. This is the paid version. So just mind you, I'm going to go to the character name and I'm going to type in FaceGood. F A C E G O O D all capital letters. Now, real quick, if you download the free Avatari software, 100% free, you're going to have access to the Seattle AI AR kit version of this. So you can set it up the same exact way. It should work. So you can follow along in this tutorial and use the free version if you want to, but I'm going to be using the Seattle AI meta human beta that I've been using here because that's what y'all wanted to see. So I'm going to click on this right here, Seattle AI meta human beta. This is the paid version. Again, if you want the free one, you're going to have to select the Seattle AI and and for the video input, I'm going to say real time. And in the drop down, I'm going to find my helmet, which is D2 2022 right here. It's already plugged in via USB. And now you can see that ugly face right in front of you twice. Wow. Okay, so I went ahead and turned off my other camera because I don't like looking at my face twice. But the first thing we're going to have to do is actually make sure we are in focus. In front of the camera right here, there is actually a lens ring. Now, be very, very careful whenever you're twisting this lens because it's pretty dang fragile. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take my fingers. Make sure you don't have any boogers in your fingers because that's going to mess up the lens right there. And I'm just going to ballpark this, okay? I mean, that looks pretty good. If you want to mess around with yours, you can. And additionally, if you want to adjust the brightness of this, like I said earlier, we don't have the little knob notch already. So if you go to real time right now, you can actually adjust that brightness from left to right if you want to. And you can also adjust the contrast as well. All right, so it looks like we're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and close this right here and click on start. Make sure we spell face good right. And I'll go ahead and click on start. 
What that's going to do is going to tell me, okay, it's connected. Go ahead and minimize it. And then in Unreal Engine 5, we're just going to go to Windows, Virtual Production, Live Link. Make sure that's turned on. And then what I'll do is I'll go to Source, Message Bus Source, Face Good Live Link. And now we're going to see Face Good down here. The next thing we're going to do is make sure to select. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll click on Amos BP right here and go to the right side and under Live Link, make sure that Face Good is selected right here, okay? Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is add a Live Skeletal Mesh component. So click on Add and I'm gonna type in Live and we're just gonna click on this one and we're gonna click on Auto Activate. And now if I press on Simulate right here by going to this three dotted lines and click on Simulate or Alt S, now you're gonna see my face is now moving with the Face Good helmet okay so real quick i noticed that the meta humans freaking binding assets are not set up correctly so let me go ahead and take care of that real quick it looks like it's in the bp as well so let me go ahead and change that up so everything is set up freaking annoying man Okay, so that's a lot better. <laughs> Open up Avatari. So with that being said, that's it. That is how you set up Face Good D2 Helmet with Avatari Seattle AI MetaHuman. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. I know some people watching this video right now is probably saying to themselves, $5,200 plus a $469 helmet to do just like this, a live facial animation mocap. That's not a lot of money. That's actually dirt cheap. However, there are people out there watching this video right now probably telling themselves $5,200 to do justice plus $469 mocap helmet is a lot of money. At the end of the day, you really just have to be honest with yourself. There is a free version of the Avatar software which solves manually, which is better than this. I'm telling you, even FaceGood said it. The free version Avatar manual solve is better than this, but it takes a lot of time. However, if you don't have time because time is money, you can pay $5,200 a year for this motion capture software auto solve pre-trained no training no solving no nothing so with that being said let me know seeing now how this all works automatically do you think that $5,200 that avatar is charging for Seattle AI metahuman live drive is worth it or is it not worth it let me know in the comments below. And again, I hope you all learned something new today. And again, the Face Good family is growing. I get so many pictures and videos of you all using your new Face Good helmet. It's great. It's amazing. So with that being said, if you all have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching. See y'all later.